Hey everyone, I'm live Brendan Quinn here alongside Nick Baumgartner following uh, Michigan football's uh, signing day extravaganza uh, here at Hill Auditorium uh, on the U of M campus. Uh, Nick, obviously no one had really ever seen anything like no. what just transpired here. It was about two or two and a half hours, uh, every bell and whistle imaginable. Uh, yeah. Guest on top of guests, Derek Jeter and Tom Brady at one point sitting shoulder to shoulder on stage. Um, and asked, you know, Ric Flair. I can't forget Ric Flair. Uh, Nick, I thought I thought you were going to lose it at that moment. Um, but it, speaking with Jim Harbaugh afterward, um, asked him about any potential blowback of this thing being too extravagant, too big, too crazy, and he said people are either going to criticize it or copy it. And he's probably pretty right. But what was your what's your thought? Yo, he's totally right on that. I mean, people are yeah, they're either going to shoot it down and say that this is all, what we do here is only about the kids, or they're going to say. Well, damn, that's a pretty good idea. We're going to do the same exact thing. Uh, I thought, you know, going into it that, you know, maybe this would be a little over the top, maybe a little corny. And then I saw Tom Brady uh, personally introduce, I think, three early enrollees, like Brandon Peters and a couple other kids walk across the stage, and Tom Brady's the guy that shakes their hand right. and says, welcome to, welcome to campus. Uh, I don't know any kid in the country that wouldn't think that's the coolest thing in the world. So right. when you look at it on top of it, yeah, is it, is it over the top? Yes. Was it crazy? Yes. Did it make no sense at times? Yes. But I think at the end of the day, there's not a person that follows football or any recruit anywhere in the country that didn't hear about this in some way, shape, or form. And, and what Harbaugh said at the end or later on the afternoon was basically like, I signed back in the day. I've been around signing these before. Usually it's sitting around a fax machine, pulling a piece of paper out, and you say a couple quotes. Why not do something else with it? Right. Yeah, it was nuts and crazy, but I mean, like, uh, I bet they get some, you know, their class was outstanding, and right. uh, I think it'll be something they do every year. And the class, uh, an outstanding class, got better, obviously, late in the afternoon here uh, at Hill Auditorium. Buzz went through the crowd uh, when really the news of the day, beyond the, the circus that just transpired, Sean Gary, mm -hmm. uh, given given the big old verbal to, to Michigan, becoming arguably one of the best recruits, right, rating wise, to ever. It's the best. Up. It's the best they've ever had in the uh, modern era, we'll say, in the internet era. You know, rivals and ESPN and those folks have been doing this since early 2000s, 2001, 2002. Michigan's never had a number one, uh, you know, consensus number one recruit signed during that stretch. I think this is the first Big Ten school to get a number one since 2008 wow. and I think if you date back even further I looked uh, Super Prep used to do these back in the 80s uh, Amani Toomer in 1992 was a number one overall player ended up being a pretty good receiver here but yeah this is the best recruit Michigan sign of the modern era and he is a legitimate as we talked earlier Brandon I saw him in Orlando yeah. uh, with my own eyes and that's typically you want to see a guy with your own eyes before you believe the hype I saw him I watched him for 25 30 minutes and uh, he's real I mean he is a six foot five 300 pound athletic you know behemoth who can play defensive end defensive tackle will play immediately will probably start somewhere immediately and will be a total impact player today i said to somebody earlier if they got rashawn gary uh then today was made they got rashawn right. gary and lavert hill who was the top corner in the state uh, i believe the second best prospect in the state or top three anyway they got those two guys anything else after that's gravy this is a top five class and um there you go the the perception that changes when you get a guy like gary on National Signing Day, every eyeball in America on that commitment. You know, as if Michigan needed any more attention, which it probably doesn't at this no. point, but just what does it do big picture for just recruiting and moving forward? Yeah, when you kind of go into a different echelon. It, you know, it does. It, it, it's a realistic, you know, and I've talked to you know, a bunch of recruiting analysts over the years about a bunch of different cases. You know, I remember when Mitch McGarry was a number two ranked kid uh, talking, it's a different sport obviously, but you talk to some of those guys and they would say to you that if Mitch pulls the trigger, it tells a lot of other kids beyond that maybe that Michigan's a realistic option. I think that's a similar situation here and that he's the number one overall player. He was recruited by everyone in the country for like three years and he decided to come here, which means Michigan is a number one option for players like that. Right. Not for everybody. It's not, you know, they got some kids from the South obviously, but again, not for everybody, but realistic option. They can get it done. They did everything they possibly could do to get it done. They brought Chris Partridge in here last January. Uh, they brought a bunch of kids from New Jersey in last January, yep. all, all the season. They did everything they possibly could to get him here, pulled it off, and uh, fantastic class, the best class in Michigan. The best recruiting class maybe they've had in the internet era as well. Mark right. Marbo's first full class, so uh, outstanding day for him. A lot of that negative stuff that we talked about yep. uh, last week, I mean, that's they got through it. I mean, Lavert Hill was another one. Lavert Hill was a kid from Detroit King. He was... Michigan was being heavily negatively recruited by rival schools. Uh, they didn't have any problems today. Yeah. Well, 
that, that's going to do it for today. We, we could go one by one all the way down through all these guys. but uh, we'll talk about them on the podcast. Yeah, check back to the podcast for that, for a more uh, kind of individualized look at, at signing day. So um, that, that'll do it, though, for uh, for what was an interesting afternoon at the University of Michigan. One we'll never forget. Certainly not. For Nick, I'm Brendan. Thanks for watching.